Hi, welcome to Georgia Wild. I'm Linda May, and today's topic is lizards. Georgia is home to 17 different species of lizards, including 13 native species that occur naturally here, and four non-native exotic species, ones that were accidentally introduced here. You may have at least a few different species living in your yard, and they're really fun to watch. So keep an eye out for anoles, like this little green anole here, fence lizards, skinks, race runners, and even glass lizards, which have no legs and are sometimes misidentified as snakes. The green anole is the most common of our lizards in the state. Because they can change color from green to brown and vice versa, many people refer to them as chameleons. But unlike true chameleons, which don't live here in the wild, green anoles don't have upper and lower eyelids that are fused together. And the way they change colors is a little different too. The green anole's body color depends more on the temperature outside and its activity level rather than trying to blend in with a particular environment. In cooler weather, when green anoles are less active, they're usually a dull brown color, sometimes with light markings down the back. But in warmer weather, when the anoles are courting and hunting for insects, they're a beautiful bright green color, like this one. I absolutely love seeing a male green anole staking out his territory and searching for a mate. He does these little push-ups with his skinny front little legs, and then he flares out his pink throat fan or dewlap to show his manly strength. He probably thinks he looks sexy, but to us humans, it's just pretty hilarious. I've personally never seen a female green anole come running up to a displaying male, but those persistent push-ups must impress the lizard ladies at least some of the time. You may see other lizards, like the eastern fence lizard, performing this push-up ritual too. Consider yourself fortunate when you do. Not only are lizards entertaining to watch, but they provide wonderful pest control services for us too. All lizards in Georgia eat insects and spiders, as well as other invertebrates, which means fewer unpleasant encounters with these creatures in our yards and gardens. If you'd like to learn more about Georgia's lizards, pick up a field guide to reptiles or the Amphibians and Reptiles of Georgia book. Also, some good resources online include the UGA Museum of Natural History's Wildlife Web and the Savannah River Ecology Lab's Lizard webpage. Be sure to slow down and take notice of these neat little reptiles the next time you go outside. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but thanks for watching and thanks for helping to keep Georgia wild. You're doing good, are you awake? If you'd like to learn, he's asleep. <laughs> There's 17 different species of lizards, <laughs> including he's 13 down there. native species. Jeez a female green anole <laughs> come running up. Be sure to slow down and take notice of these neat little reptiles.